We have challenged ourselves to pursue change that will provide utility to Americans far beyond our tenure here. Together, we have set ambitious goals and empowered interagency teams to tackle our objectives. It's working and it's very exciting. We began by analyzing and auditing our current infrastructure. It turns out that federal agencies collectively operate 6,100 data centers, the vast majority of which can be consolidated and migrated to the cloud, something a lot of you know a lot about. Many of our federal systems are decades old, with our 10 oldest being between 39 and 56 years old. The Department of Defense, for example, still uses eight inch floppy disks on some of its legacy systems. The 1980 Paperwork Reduction Act, designed to make government more efficient, but also established before the government used computers, still has domain over every form published online. This requires a six month review and a rigorous interagency process to approve any changes that can be made on a government website, regardless of how minor they are. This traps thousands of processes and paperwork and prevents routine improvements, optimization, and often innovation. The VA has 532 forms on vets.gov, the majority of which are not accessible by modern browsers. Most services still use paper forms, including 90% of healthcare applications and 86% of claims. Our veterans deserve better, and that's what we are going to deliver. Civilian agencies maintain over 1.6 million email addresses via on-premise servers, which are maintained by over 40 different contracts, paying on average $20 per user per month. Agencies that have migrated to cloud-based email have seen these costs reduced to as little as $3 per user. Our goal here is simple. We are here to improve the day-to-day -day lives of the average citizen. That's a core promise and we are keeping it.